I did not realize that my decision would cause such a great impact on the office. We used to actually bake cookies before every shift, prior to our morning shift and prior to the afternoon shift of patients coming in. And our thought process was we wanted a homey family atmosphere. We got a service that would ship us cookies and the oven, and then we would bake the cookies every shift. We thought it would make it such a family-friendly environment, and we did it for like a year. And our patients loved it. They would come in and they'd even say to us, hey, listen, I didn't even have dessert because I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna eat some of these nice warm cookies that you baked. Well, one morning I woke up and I said to my husband, I'm fat. I cannot keep baking these cookies at the office. And I looked at him, I said, you might not be fat, but you will get fat if we keep baking these cookies. So that was it. I went in and I said, we're not baking cookies anymore. I went into the freezer, I gave all the staff all the frozen cookies, and we stopped baking cookies. Well, I did not realize that my decision that I needed to lose weight would cause such a great impact on the office. I'm gonna tell you why. Michael Gerber, he's the author of E-Myth Revisited. He actually wrote a blog, and I think it might even be in one of his books called The Uniformly Predictable Service. And when I read that years later, I realized what effect I caused by me thinking, I needed to lose weight, which means we're gonna stop baking cookies in the office. What I did was I actually changed our customer's experience. What had happened was as we were baking cookies, all of our patients got used to the smell of the cookies, the baked cookies as part of their experience in the office. It was, they could smell it, it smelled like home or smelled like their grandma's. They could taste the cookies and they loved it. And arbitrarily, one day I woke up and for what I wanted, I changed their experience. It never occurred to me that it would cause a disruption in our business, but it actually did. Patients would come in and they'd ask where the cookies were and we would kind of make comments like, oh, we're trying to cut back on those sweets. But what we didn't realize was that was part of the experience they were showing up for. Yes, they got great care. They got fantastic adjustments, fantastic rehab care, fantastic care all around. But the experience in our office, we actually changed it on them. And what Michael Gerber says is this, is that a business is there to serve and give an experience, a consistent experience for the, the customers. So if you think of McDonald's, McDonald's, Ray Kroc had this down totally. When you go into a McDonald's, you get the same experience no matter what McDonald's you go into anywhere in the world. You get the same type of hamburger, you get the same type of greeting, you get a 16 year old who kind of looks you in the eye, kind of gives you your food, but you know what? You know you're gonna get that experience and you're okay with it. So when you choose to go to McDonald's, you go there for the comfort because that's the experience you expect. When you run a business, and you establish an experience in your business for your customers, and then for your own comfort, in my case, I did it because I needed to lose weight, right? So for something that was personal to me, I changed the experience on our patients. And what happened was our patient visits dropped. The existing patients that were coming in, and you have to imagine we were seeing upwards of 700 patient visits a week, they dropped because we shifted the patient's experience and it was no longer that feeling that they originally had and they started drifting off. Now we never went back to baking those cookies, but one thing we did learn from that was changing our patient's experience, as Michael Gerber calls it, having a uniformly predictable service to your customers brings your customers back over and over again because there's comfort in your customers knowing what they're walking into is not different every single time. So let me tell you this, think twice about changing something in your business like that because it's something that's comfortable for you, think about the effect that it will cause on your patients.